What's happening, everybody? <clears throat> What's going on? All right. So uh, let's check it out. Make sure our audio is good. Everything's good. Do some spot market money. And look at uh, what is going on in the spot market today. Uh, let me bring up another screen here. Let me get logged into uh, 123 Load Board and uh, check out what's shaking. And we're going to try to have a uh, special guest show up, um, but he is sleeping. He's sleeping. Thanks, Simple Logic. Hello, everybody. Keystone Logistics, what is going on? All right. So let me see here. Let me share this screen with you. Maybe we can get this to work today. You know, who knows, right? Who really knows? Let's see. Let's zoom that up <clears throat> and let's uh, click this, share that, pick that. And, of course, that fell off. And uh, let's see here. Let's pick this. All right, here we go. What's up, Philip? Other trucker James best, man. What happened to your feed? What happened to your feed, Jamesy? Uh, what happened to it? Simplified trucking? What's going on? All right, so we were going to have a uh, – we're going to do a guest show, but he's sleeping. He's sleeping, folks. So we didn't want to wake him up, right? We didn't want to wake him up. So let's look at load availability on the uh, one, two, three here. Let's check it out. Let's see what happens. All right. So we could look at each trailer group real quick. We'll do van, the density map, and here it comes. Bam. Look at all the green. Through here, Mississippi was green. It turned red. Arkansas is at California and Arizona. Still looking good. Florida's looking good. So, van's not looking that bad, right? Let's just change the trailer group to flatbed. Let's see what flatbed's doing today. And here we go. Flatbed is looking really good. Really good for flatbed. Look at all this green out here on the West Coast. And then all through here. The Midwest is looking good. The South's looking good. Northeast, not so good. Don't go up there. And now let's check out the reefer. The reefer. Bam. All right. Here we go. Here's the reefer haulers. Not bad, right? I mean, they got some green over there, and then they got a bunch of yellow in here. So, you know, not too bad. Not as good as Van, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. We got some new comments in the board. Of who's it? Gus. What's up, Gus? What's happening? What's shaking, Gus? All right. So, let's check it out. Click on find loads. Evansville, Indiana, 150. This is for May 22nd. Uh, we will look for today, tomorrow, and through Monday, or through Tuesday. Holiday is Monday, right? So, if you're going to take a load on a weekend and deliver on a weekend, Watch yourself, folks, because it's a holiday. You know, place might not be open. Broker might say it's open. Make sure you call. Do your due diligence. 
If you're hauling load, you're delivering on a weekend or picking up on a weekend, call that place, shipper, receiver, make sure they're open. Don't take the broker's word for it. Or you might be, you know, getting yourself a little bit of, uh, deten you know, layover time, a little layover pay. And then you might lose your other load if you had something booked after that to get you home. And then you'll be all mad because you didn't get home and you're sitting somewhere waiting. All right. So rate per mile. Let's see. Rates are up. We're on the climb, James. On the climb. You know. It's right here. $2,100. Let's see if James wants to, uh, you know, he's sitting around doing nothing. He's sitting around doing nothing. Let's see if he wants to uh, join the chat because he has, you know, he has his own authority now. He's running these uh, spot market freight rates. Maybe he wants to chime in. You know, on his channel, we talked a little bit about business. Um, a lot of guys crying, things like that in the owner-operator business. Usually business people don't cry about stuff. They just, you know, get ready and get it done. <clears throat> All right. 278 a mile, interstate. 233, 224. See this load here. That's an interstate load, but up here, 279 in North Carolina. If you look at this load, it is going to be, come on, rock and roll. It is going to be way above the rate check. See, $1.92 is the average rate, and this is paying $0.87, cents, 279 Shows you the stuff is on the rise. If we go down here and try to find a longer load, uh, $1,500 bucks to Jersey, eh, that could pay a little higher. See, I told you it wasn't right at the money. They're trying to they're trying to get somebody to run it for cheaper. But you can always ask for that. It's only $190.28 from the two-week average, and you'll probably get it. Why? Because it's probably over the weekend. Bashell Logistics has sent us something. We want something, it says. Uh, let me quit the mail. So we won't keep getting those interruptions. All right, let's search. Where are we going? Let's go over and check out Philadelphia, PA. Let's check the East Coast out. 150 miles around Philly. Get you quite a, quite a few places on the East Coast. And look at the uh, rates per mile. East Coast is still getting it done. 439 a mile, Centralville, Maryland to Comac, New York. Look at that, folks. 94 cents, 439 a mile, above the 344 two-week average. Here's your charts. And you can look at the profit calculator. See, you got $219 in tolls. Your profit is 707.39. Still paying the toll. You're still at 310 a mile. Hey, Michael Dow, we didn't know you were in the hospital with the corona. What's up, brother? Out of the hospital and over the corona. Congratulations. Glad to see that you made it through it. Um, hopefully you have the antibodies and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, but we'll all, we'll all see in the future, right, Mike? Alamo Kid says, it's only up this week because people went home for the holiday weekend. No, it's not, Alamo Kid. That's totally wrong. Totally wrong. Next week, we'll go back down when they come back. Also, fuel went up a bit in traveling people due to the holiday. No, you're not going to have as many people travel this holiday as before because of one of the coronavirus. Two, most stuff is shut down. Yeah, some places are opening up, but they're not letting a whole lot of stuff happen. So that's not right. It's capacity, Alamo Kid, because there's a lot of companies that went out of business in the last couple months. A lot of owner operators on our business you don't even know about. You only see the big carriers. They only advertise the 4,000 truck fleets, 2,000 truck fleets. 
they don't advertise the one, two, three, four, or five truck fleets or 10 truck fleets. They don't advertise those. They don't say nothing about them. Nothing. Zero. So <clears throat> you will never hear about those. There's been a ton of them gone. And then you have guys just sitting on the sideline, right? You got owner operators. They're collecting unemployment. They're leaving their trucks sitting in their yard because they're collecting the, you know, the government PUA or whatever they call it. Uh, 600 bucks a week because they're 1099 plus if their state gives them a little extra or whatever, that's what they're collecting and they're sitting at home and they're not, you know, making their, their business stronger. Because they got the deferred payments and everything else. And instead of, you know, going out there and running and putting all the money in the business. You know. Because, you know, you can run and not have to pay yourself. I mean, because, you know, you just look at the rates from what, what they were before. Here's 415 a mile. Maryland to New York. <clears throat> Click on that. Three minutes ago, online freight systems. 415, 337 average. Do they have a credit rating? Ooh, there's nothing here for Thunder. 9433. You could click here and get credit report. Something's not right. Maybe they haven't been in business long enough to get a credit rating here. Um, but you can check them out and find out. Oh, look it. They're a TIA member. <laughs> Shame on you. All right. Here's your rate check. Here's your profit calculator, 224 and tolls. There's your fuel. You can check out the maps down here. Hit PC Miler, and you'll see it's out on the island. You can go out there and visit. Hey, Bob lives right there. Go out there and see MT Fuel Corp out on the island. 302 a mile, 301. This load is no longer available. It updates automatically. For 35 bucks. you get the premium plus. Look at all these great features. And they keep adding to them, right? Oh, what do we got going over here? Jose. Ooh. Michael says, uh, it was, but only the strong survive. Where's the money? Rich, I showed you the money, Italian Stallion. Look at all this money on the East Coast. I'm over there in your running lane, and you're crying about it. Oh, you like this shirt? You like this shirt? There you go. Steve, you like it? You probably got some too. It's gonna it's time's coming, Steve. Time's coming. What is that thing you got? Working man's band repair something. I don't know. You got some regular guy. You got oh, a regular guy and you got something. That's that must be Steve's. He's got a side gig right there. He's making stuff. Good coffee. Can you check Dallas, Texas going to Virginia flatbed? Sure. Let's go over here. Dallas, Texas. I don't know what date you want. I got four or five days in there. Um, unclick this. <clears throat> click the flatbed, click on the trailer type, and uh, you want to go to Virginia? Let's see if they have any. Bam. They got Dallas to Pulaski picking up today, tomorrow, another one. And on Friday, also in Ennis, Texas, Ennis, Texas to Petersburg, Virginia. That's all they have on here going to Virginia so far. Big Tex trucking. What's happening? What's happening, Big Tex? What's shaking? What's up, Dave Earhart? What's going on? Jonathan Philbrick, Jr. What's happening? Uh... Yeah, so if you if you take Virginia out of there and you put 
you know, radius around a town, because maybe you could pass through, you know, you would probably get more of a result. So if we put drop off, uh, let's put, uh, Um, let's see. We're in Virginia. Elk roofing, that's what it is. Are the blue beacons open? New York uh, was just doing trailer washouts. Might be. I don't know. Call them up. Italian stallion, call them up. Uh, Let's go to somebody pick a town anywhere in Virginia. Tarek, you got a town that you want to go to? Is it Northern Virginia? Here, I'll pick something up in Northern Virginia. We'll take Falls Church, 150 mile radius. Um, then you only got one load. If you crank out the radius to 28. Then you can look at, say, okay, out of Midlothian to Pittsburgh, PA, 144 a mile, 1800 bucks. Uh, you got dollar twenty-three right here, dollar forty-three to Ohio, Pittsburgh, Petersburg, Virginia, Panama, New York, and so forth. As you scroll down, uh, you can see those different places. So you know, if you talked them up and you wanted to go to Pittsburgh and you lived on that route, you know, of course, you want that dollar seventy twenty one twenty one. So you're going to ask them for more, right? Right. Material logistics, credit rating of a B, 35 days to pay on trans credit, 92 credit score. They pay thunder in about 33 on the average days. So. So he says Alexander, Virginia, and you can crank it up to 250, and you got 27 loads. It's going to be the same stuff, right? Same stuff, and you can check those out. And if you don't see it on here, if you have all the tools in your toolbox and you go to DAT, see what DAT has going on, then you go then you go to uh, truckstop.com, see what they got going on. Uh, I'd rather check DAT than truckstop.com just because I don't want to get hammered with a bunch of advertisements uh, that website uh, irritates me too much stuff going on in their website too much stuff going on all right let's get out of the east coast let's go to a recent search we can click on recent and we can come down here here's a Tewksbury, Massachusetts, Evansville, Orlando, Florida. Let's see what's coming out of Orlando. You got a bunch of interstate loads. 2600 for a van. Jacksonville, Florida to Riverhead, New York. Look at that, Italian stallion. Check it out. Boom. That's only two cents below. It's only missing by 18 bucks. You got 292 in tolls. Still $1.95 a mile. 1984 and with this great software here you could go let's say you're an 8020 contractor you'd get 146407 after fuel after the cut from the company after the toll cost and all that and it's still a dollar 44 a mile net net profit and uh so you can see that and you can look at back hauls Right back down to Jacksonville, there's three, there's five to Florida, there's 72 anywhere out of that town. If you want to see exactly where it's located, just click PC Miler real quick. And boom, you can see it's out there on the island. Right, you can see it right there. Go visit somebody. Well, simple logic, yeah, man. It's not, it's not big rig friendly. Neither is uh, 
Massachusetts. Massachusetts ain't pedigree friendly either. Um, you can ask Italian Stallion. So we go down here and we see dollar twenties, two ten a mile, Florida, Florida, and so forth out of Florida. So it's still pretty good. What's up, Xavier? Good morning. Ain't talked to Xavier in a long time. Uh, how about Greensboro, North Carolina to Columbus, Ohio? Well, Donald, Donald Mallory, what do you want? Van Freight, um, Reefer Freight. <clears throat> what What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Greensboro, North Carolina. Cambridge, yes. Oh, Cambridge was fun. It was fun. Greensboro to, what do you say, Columbus, Ohio, back to the heartland. Um, Columbus, Ohio, 150-mile radius around both. And we're going to say Van. Oh, the Dean. The Dean. Look, there he is, the Dean. Hey, Dean. Big Face Trucker. I Big Face, I wanted you as a guest this morning. I wanted to, we want to talk about something. Um, something that I've said before and people said, you know, they didn't agree with me, but you're living proof that it can be done. And I wanted to, you know, put you on the air, uh, tell your story. All that good stuff, uh, because it's a heck of an accomplishment. Same thing with the dean, right? The dean wants to come on. Boom! All you gotta do is click that link. We'll put you in. Look, there you go. See, that's a rich Italian Stallion rapper. Look, he's giving you the boom. Congrats, big face. All right, so here you go, Donald. If it's a van trailer. You got nine fifty a dollar eighty four from Mac Pro Trucking. That is above twenty two cents, and we come on down here, and you got twenty some odd loads on this board, thirty nine loads exact matches to pick from. Nick, deny what's going on. Ever just went active and signed up with one two three, awesome. Uh, Big Face says, thank you. He's kind of shy of the camera, you know. But you can go to his YouTube video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out Big Face Trucker, his last video. Um, do not watch it if you have small children around. He got a little overexcited. Um, you know. It's an adult-only video. But, you know, for what happened, it's good for the excitement. All right. Of course, you know, Big Face ain't like 404. 404, you know, he clicked on the link and called in, right? Uh, Big Face, if you're not, if you're just up and you're laying in bed, doesn't matter. Just hold the phone by your face, right? Then we don't, you know, then you'll be all right. But, you know, it's cracked me up when I was watching the video because uh, he was kicked back, you know, in big face style, right? In big face style, he's kicked back in his seat and he's got his, his cigar, right? And he's smoking it and he's blowing it up in the air, you know, like relaxing, you know, relaxing. It was, uh, it's pretty funny. I like it. <clears throat> Tell you, Stanley was gonna he was gonna uh click on the link and chime in, and so was the dean. But you know, the dean might be uh who knows, might be rolling. I don't know. Who's who's Joe Bob? Now we'll find out. What's happening, to Joe Bob?
Uh, we got Joe Bob in here, but. Yeah, we're gonna have to gonna have to delete them out of there. See, Joe Bob left. Hey Doug. Hey Doug, why don't you click on the link there, Doug? And join the group. You know, Pappy. Whamma jamma. How's how's Gracie doing? Click on the link, Pappy Whamma Jamma, and uh, we'll talk about some stuff. Yes, yeah, there's power only available on one, two, three. Uh, we just gotta click on the power only button. So you know, if you do a search, go to trailer type, power only, bam. And then you just look down here for the power only stuff. What's up, Dean? What's up, Joe? It's getting loaded, man. Boom. Hey, look at that nice truck. There you go. All right, Dean, let, let's talk about something. All right. You got a lot of people out there. So oh, don't buy a truck in this market. Don't do that. Well, you bought a truck in this market. I did. You did. And it's a nice truck. It is a nice truck. <laughs> you, any, you know, anybody that's a truck enthusiast can tell just by the interior that he's driving a W900 $350,000 truck. No, I'm <laughs> he's driving the fuel efficient, Close. fuel efficient W900. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, honestly, the fuel mileage is, I mean, it's pretty horrible, but some, you know, some days are just more horrible than others, but, uh, didn't really buy it for the fuel mileage. Just, uh, after, uh, after the many years, of, of trucking, I just wanted to get back to what I drove in the beginning. So, uh, that's what we did. Didn't really buy it for the fuel mileage. Can you hear me, Jeff? Yeah, I got you. Okay. So, yeah, so it's been interesting. I bought it, uh, what, three weeks before the pandemic hit, and uh, I had an okay March. I had a better April, and my May is, uh, my May could turn out better than my April. Uh, I just need a few things to, to go my way. So, we're hanging in there. Right. So, <clears throat> this proves the point. You can have a brand new truck. You can buy a brand new trailer. And even during the worst of the coronavirus, you can still make the money you need to make to live, pay all the bills. But you have to have the work ethic. Would you agree on that? I would. Yeah. So uh, it's interesting. You know, I was thinking if, if I had to get home and the truth is uh, when I got home, uh, Three, three days in March. I was home four days in April because I had that truck issue. I had to go to the shop. So four days in April. And I made, you know, I took it to the shop where, you know, near I live, uh, near where I live. So I was able to go home. So four days in April. And uh, uh, I haven't been home in May, but that's that was my choice. Because I, I knew the rates were going to be pretty bad in May, I thought. You know, my prediction was May is going to be pretty bad. Um, and so I just decided to stay out. Now, I may go home uh, after next week. But, yeah, so if if you know your numbers, uh, listen to, you know, solid uh, sound advice from this channel. And, uh, you know, you, you know, there's others out there, I'm sure. But uh, you have to know your numbers and you just got to be willing to put in the time. Right. So. That's really what it boils down to. But you got to know your numbers. And and I was doing the long game for the first two months. And uh, I actually may have made more money just running under 300 miles. Uh, I've taken a couple 400 mile loads this week. But I've made more money doing the short stuff than I have uh, chasing, the, you know, chasing the money. And the truth is that in April, in April I had to chase the money. And you, you could. You could chase the miles, um, 
but then towards the end of April, it got tough getting to reload back. So uh, followed your advice and started running some short stuff, uh, just booking loads every day. And you're going to, the rate per mile is really not indicative of what you need per day. So your cost per day is, I mean, the rate per mile means nothing because you could get three bucks a mile. Uh, but if that, whatever that number is, uh, the total, if that is not what you need to cover your cost per day, it won't matter. I mean, it, it so it could be five dollars a day, but it could only be a hundred miles. What so I didn't do you any good, or fifty miles? You know what I mean, Chuck? Yep, I know what you mean. So, you know, it took you. You know, I, I said I told you, you know, short regional loads paid, right? Yeah, know, I was hard headed and kept chasing the miles. Uh, you know, and, and I got lucky in, in the beginning of April. I had that $6,000 run to, uh, what, I got 6400 to go from uh, uh, the East Coast to, to the West Coast. Uh, West Coast. So that, that set me up. Um, and then I had a pretty good, you know, the rest of the uh, month was, was decent. So, but it's, it's, I'll tell you, you know, and I love running the road. So I love running the miles. Uh, I used to think that was easier. But truthfully, the short stuff is easier. You have more time for yourself, uh, and you're not in the seat for 11 hours uh, out of whack. So it's actually much easier running the short stuff, and you make more money. And when the rates do pop, see, when the rates, when the uh, pandemic hit, I, you know, I really hurt myself because I wasn't in the Midwest and the East Coast. Uh, I mean, the East Coast to me is anything east of uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania. But anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, but I wasn't I wasn't around, so I wasn't able to participate in the good rates for those couple weeks because it took me couldn't find a load, you know, coming out of the Northwest. Uh, you know, I, ended, I was in ended up going Montana and all that. So, you know, you need some luck to to happen. Uh, you're going to make some mistakes, but you know, if you just want to put in the time, uh, you can do it even with a, you know, five mile per gallon truck, right? I'm getting more than five, but you know what I mean? I mean it's, uh, well, so, it's close. It's close. Give it it is. A it's half a gallon per mile, right? Yeah. So, you know, in a half a gallon, a, a half a gallon is, uh, $500. So if I go from 5.5 to six, that, that's an extra $500 a month in my pocket. So, um, you know, and I'm, I'm right at six, to be honest. I'm right, five point, you know, eight to six to somewhere around in there is about average. And yeah, I don't run, so I'm not running 55 either. So I'm doing, I'm doing this, you know, I'm not doing 70 all day, but I'm doing 65. See, this goes to prove. Because we know there's a lot of people that like to see people fail. Right? Right. Just yeah. like when I bought my first truck. There's people that says, you know, you're dumb. You'll never make it. They want you to fail. And 28 plus years, whatever it is later, still here. Yeah. Yeah, you just yeah. got, you, you know, you just. And, you know, I've gotten. uh I mean, this month, I'm my average. So I just, I, you know, in my spreadsheet, I average up my rate cons, and I didn't do it based on the rate con of miles, but based on my rate cons, I'm at a dollar eighty-eight uh, a mile on, you know, ten or a dollar eighty-eight. That's that's ten rate cons for the month. So I have, I have ten trips, um, and so this is going to be the most trips that I've done in a month, also. Uh, but it's a lot of short stuff. Um, and, and then you just got to negotiate, you know, but this, my next run is pretty good. I got, uh, 1750 on 700 miles. That's so good. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. And I'll get a, I'll get a reset underneath that. So, you know, all's good. We got big face coming in. Let's add him. Let's see what he's got to say. Uh, his stream sure. may not be good. But I wanted I wanted the Italian stallion to come in here because you know you went to the East Coast and you're gonna step on his uh 
territory. <laughs> um, he doesn't. He doesn't have to worry about that. That's about as far as I'm going. Is as, uh, as, as Maryland. But I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell everybody. <laughs> the dean is very competitive. And oh, I am. Very, yeah. You know, the Italian stallion and Al is going to give you a run for your money. I don't know. These guys I, 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 are going to be hard months, to beat. Two months, the rookie has come in and, and, and represented uh, uh, accordingly, right? We got we got Big Face here. What's up, Big Face? What's going on, Jeff? How you doing? Well, well, uh, the Dean, I don't know if you know this, but we'll let Big Face tell a little story here. Um, Let's hear it, uh, Big Face. Know, I met him a long time ago. It feels like a long time ago. Um, I lived through his uh, heartache and all that stuff, and it just goes to show you uh, what I have said. Because I, you know, I tell people that you know if Schneider Finance was the only way to get a truck, and they're actually going to do it because you know you can't stop people from doing something they really want to do. And with their program, you don't need a lot of money in the bank. You don't need any because if it's a brand new truck, you're not going to the breakdowns. You got time to build a maintenance fund and so forth. And you can come out the other end with a truck if you do it right. So we'll let Big Face uh, tell a little story. Well, you know, um, I got into the IC program. And when I came into the IC program, I had very little money with bad credit. Um, it's just been, you know, to me, the way I feel about this whole thing, I think trucking should pay for itself, you know. And I did go out and run. I ran hard. I ran hard. Uh, when I got an orient orientation, I didn't go home for six months. You know, I had to get the program down. I had to make the money, you know. And uh, knock on wood, I haven't had no bad breakdowns with my truck because I got my truck at 114 with 114 miles on it, you know. And uh, it's been good to me. You know, it's been good to me. And, you know, finally, <laughs> long story short, you know, just paid the truck off yesterday, you know. Um, it's just it's just been a journey, man. I, I can, You could ask me what I've been through, and I could tell you, but I, I just, if I go into it, I'll be like kind of long wind, you know. Well, I could, uh, you know, I've been through your journey. I've uh, heard a lot through your journey. And I con congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Um, that's a heck of an accomplishment, because... especially with an SFI truck. That is, right. you really have to keep it to the grindstone. And you know, I've been there when, you know, you'd you'd call me up and you you need someone to talk to, right? Get you yeah. back on the fence because <laughs> it's easy to quit. It's easy to want to quit. That's right. But you know what? Big face is proof. He didn't quit. He got out there and he got it done. Got it done. And now uh, he's smoking cigars like this. He's he's blowing the smoke up here. The uh, dean's smoking. So go ahead and blow it up in the air, Dean. Like like you, you're like you're proud and exhausted. You know. Go ahead. Oh, big face lit one up too. You guys got it all lit up. See, there you go. See, just like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, man, it, it's a whole lot of stress off my shoulders, man. It's just like, I can't believe it. You know, I yeah. can't believe it. Now I can run. Uh, my cost per mile is down, and I just can't believe it, man. I guess I'll believe it once I get the 50 grand in the, in the, in the bank account. <laughs> you know? Uh, and and that that's going to happen soon this year. It, it's going to happen because when I leave out of here, uh, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I got to run. I got low miles on the truck. I got four hundred and twenty six thousand on it. This truck's supposed to be somewhere about six k, you know, six hundred, somewhere around in there. Uh, I strategically did that for a reason. So you know, I, I got warranty. You know what I mean? And I can go run crazy now and still be covered. You know, I tell anybody that gets in the SFI program, you know, 
I know a lot of people say you need this amount of money in the bank, this and that. Now, if you stay focused, if you stay focused, take care of your truck, you can do it. You know, you can do it. It, it, it can be done. I'm living proof. It can be done. And you build your money from there, you know. Well, well, Dean, guess what? I'll tell you a little story. It, you know, Big Face, he might hit hey, the big, big Face, hey, Jeff, Big Face does not have to worry about me going up to the Northeast. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Italian Stallion, he'll kick him out of there. You know, we'll be fighting, we'll be duking out him and MT Fuel Corp up on the island, right? But let me let me tell you a little story, the Dean. Uh, and this is the kind of guy I am, right? Big Face calls me up, and he was at Travel Loco at the time. I don't. I'm not going to ruin his vibe here, but uh, don't get mad at me, Big Face. No. He was at Travel Loco. Calls me up. And he says, "Hey Jeff, I want to put my truck on with you." So we start talking about where he wanted to be in the future, um, his payments, all this stuff about his business. And with an SFI truck, I basically said, you know, your best thing to do with that high payment and all that is to get your own authority, slide out, get your own authority, um, because you're going to need all that extra money. And if you need any help, with any of the programs along the way, I'll, I'm there to help you. I'm just a phone call away. And did I not tell you that, Big Face? Yeah, you told me that. Yep, you did, you know. And uh, I moved forward with it, you know. It was it was kind of sneaky, you know. <laughs> well, I would, I I would love to have you. I'd love to have you as a contractor. But, right. you know, for your best interest in your business, that, that was the best path for you. Right. And I, I I did. You told me I had the green light to come right. over. But, you know, I told you, you know, hey, man, I'm going to want my own authority. And I'd rather for somebody else to come on with you that's going to spend time with you. I wasn't going to be there long, you know. Now, now see, the dean, we hope the dean stays a long time because we got other things. We got other plans for the dean. You know, there's no right. better negotiator than the dean. So if we get we get the dean rolling down the road and also get him as an agent for the brokers and he could talk all these you know uh, shippers and receivers out of their money. Right, that's what that's what I'm here to do. I try that's to shake, I, I try to turn them upside down and empty their pockets. Right. <laughs> uh oh, Snorlord's got something. He says Robert never calls me anymore. That's because you oh, don't call the dean. Steve, I did call you, Steve. You didn't return my call. I figured. Well. Uh, I just won't bother you, Steve. But call me anytime. I'm, I'm just driving down the road, uh, dreaming of genie, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been great, though. Hey, a uh, big, big face. How long did it take you to pay that truck off? Uh, I got it in 2016. I would say like wow. four, four, four and a half years. So, if you don't mind me asking, big face, I, and, and if you don't want to answer it, I understand, but. Uh, for for myself and others, how, how much was your payment at SFI? Uh, it started off at um, I think a, a thousand and fifty, and then it dropped down to nine hundred. They started putting more money into the maintenance account. Uh, the truck payment was like six hundred, and they was putting like three hundred in the maintenance. <clears throat> the trick that I used is that I never touched my maintenance. Because some somehow I felt that they was taking money from me if I used it, you know what I'm saying? So I used okay. my money for my for the maintenance on the truck. I let the maintenance account build up to like 18 grand. Okay. So I got to the end of the year, you know, my last year with the truck, and I was only looking at probably somewhere about 10 grand to add on to the maintenance. And then after that, boom. It was done. They sent me an email saying I had to get out here and run with this bad, with the bad rates. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to make my insurance, truck payment, fuel, and all that. And uh, I had to pull some resources from my other business. And uh, hey, I paid the truck off. You know, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I just, that's, uh, I'm looking forward to that. I told Jeff, 
every time he calls me, you know, three years, you know, now, whether or not I'll do it in three years or not, uh, that, that'll be a, a, that'll be tough, but you know, if rates pick up, um, it can be done. You know, I think that, so it's like any business and I, I, you, I think you'll, uh, you would agree, uh, big face, you know, when you start a new business, you mentioned that, uh, you just came out and just went running. What, what, you know, when you're starting something new, you have to be truly 100%. I mean, that's what it is. Right. So your first year, you just got to run. And then after that, then get into some, I mean, that that's kind of what my plan has always been. Uh, just the first year, just dedicate the whole year to your business uh, right. for the future, right? You can sacrifice one year and then, uh, you know, and then you can, you know, be on the easy street, right? Would you agree? Right. right. I, I agree. Um, when I was doing the 50 grand challenge and stuff like that, making all that money, I was putting that money up, putting it up, you know, um, and, and doing some other things as far as, you know, I got two other businesses that I mess with, but I usually, each business needs to pay for itself. And the trucking had to pay for itself. I wasn't going to pull for one business to do the other. But uh, when I got that email, I just said, man, just take the money and, 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 and pay for the truck. And deal with it, you know, and this is the worst time to even try to even do something like that because I wasn't running. I've been home like 48 days, you know. But uh it is what it is, man. I mean that's what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta you gotta stick to it, man. You gotta grind. You, you gotta grind and stay focused. If you get folk, you know, you, you get out of adjustment any kind of way, start buying cars. And stuff like that. Now, I made a mistake. I went out and brought a challenger and brought my daughter a car. I fell back a little. You know, well, you know, but, wait a minute. Let's talk cars now. Now, big face, you, you know, John Armstrong bought me a Tesla S. See it? It's right there. He bought me this. And you didn't even give me a BMW. You know, you told me you were gonna you were gonna trip out a BMW for me. And I didn't even get a Beamer. You know, what's up with that? <laughs> oh, um, I, I, I put the down payment on. I got to finish paying for it. And I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'll be pushing up daisies before I see that Beamer. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to get you a Beamer. <laughs> hey, everybody, we have been, we have been, uh, how do you want to say it? We have the presence of the heavy metal, the best bass player around, Snorlord, in the house. Snorlord. Bass player. Morning, Snorlord. Morning. Morning. Bass player, you know it. He tries yeah. to play it anyway. I think his wife pays a bass better than he does, though. She does. She does. <laughs> so I miss I miss the first 40 minutes of your live feed, so give me the cliff notes real quick. All right, Snorlord was going to send the Dean and Big Face Trucker five grand a piece, one for the Dean for buying a truck and living through the coronavirus, and one for uh, Big Face for paying off the SFI truck before 500,000 miles. So yeah. Snorlord gives up the five grand to these two guys a piece. That was about the first 40 minutes, you know. Well, All right. how am I supposed to get my new truck if, if I'm giving you guys money? Maybe maybe they'll maybe they'll super maybe they will uh, cash app you, you know, dollar sign Snorlord. Yeah, you'll I'll, figure I'll it out. Put in the thing, <laughs> you're smart guy. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You're smart guy. <laughs> I, I, I think I just give the illusion that I'm smart. You know, I, I, maybe not even that. So, you know, I got a couple of Missouri guys on here. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's because Missouri rules. We're not we're not shutting everything down like a bunch of pansies like Michigan is. So I'm trying to figure out my next step, Jeff. We got to talk. All right, we will talk. You know, uh, the next step definitely want to move forward. You know, want to move forward, but trying to get out the truck, man. 
trying. Uh, you I like that store lord to the feet at the bottom. You're, 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 you just paid off the truck. No time to quit now. Wait a minute. What's he eating, guys? What's he eating? Is it keto friendly? Yeah, eggs. Eggs. Hey, oh, that looks so good. Where did you get those? I want some. <laughs> That's what's I mean, they're nothing to write home about. I'm at the truck stop next to the Volvo dealership here in Springfield. Man, he can get a really good price on a Volvo right now. You know what? You know what? Snorler, what he has, he's got he's got a bunch of hens down there underneath his bunk that's had that's laying eggs uh, because of the coronavirus. So he's he's making fresh eggs every morning for everybody. Oh yeah. Well, you know, Big Rig Co. He he's got a he's got chickens now. We we just got a batch of eggs from him. The other day. Well, the dean, if the dean would come here, you know, he wants that new ELD. If he would come here, I told him I'd put the ELD in, I'd make him barbecue ribs, steak, whatever. Like I did Moonfleet, but no, he doesn't doesn't have the time. He don't have the time. Hey, did you see (laughs) that? Did you see that Sam Sarah laid a bunch of people off? Did you see that? No, I didn't see that, but that really doesn't matter, does it? Um, Keep, I don't truck, know. keep trucking like a bunch of people off, too. Yeah, it's like all of them are. And I heard Uber, Uber, Uber had laid off a bunch of people, too. Yeah, 6,700, 6,700, or uh, 3,200, something like that. Yeah. I'll tell you what, big face trucker, snore lord, the dean, here's how good he is. If you guys come up to my house up here and we, we break bread, he will give you a nice Dyson vacuum for your truck battery operated 350 plus vacuum it's no it's not even battery operated it's well it's it, 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 it's rechargeable it's rechargeable and i have it i have it sitting in my pole barn oh it's beautiful okay. i mean it works like a charm i bet you do yeah mm-hmm. i charged it up the other day well i also heard that if you go to orientation at like trucking in michigan you will acquire tools in your truck too like the drill and everything else Oh, you know, okay. Big face would have came here and acquired some tools, but you know, <laughs> he didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, yeah, the dean, right? You know, he rolled around with the tools in his truck. Yeah, I just uh, don't use them. Well, actually, uh, Italian Stallion, he had my Hitachi drill for like three months. I didn't even charge him to use it. <laughs> And he brought it back with a dead battery. Shameful. So, Snorlord, when you buy a new truck, what are you going to look at? The Dean has a W900, 5.178775.2 miles per gallon. (laughs) (laughs) And that's only with a tailwind, Jeff. (laughs) And hopefully a stack aren't bent. When there's a big wind, it's terrible. I've seen it go down to, you know, 4.5, and I'm like, oh, man, this is this is going to hurt. Hey, did your stacks what? blow off yet? Did, did they blow off? No, not, <laughs> not yet. Thank God. Well, you know, you know, it's it, you know, it's the end of the world when I heard that the Dean went east of I-35. Do you believe that? Yes. When it when it went down. When the dean went east of I-35. Oh, you're not kidding. Exactly, Snow Lord. I, I haven't been out there in uh, forever, for forever, a long time, you, many years. Well, let me tell you two guys about the dean for a second. He goes, man, we got to get Oregon. I got to go to Oregon. Man, I, I know because, you know, he's thinking about the reefer days. I've got to go to Oregon, boys. I got – so I spent – Twenty four hundred dollars to get Oregon, right? Twenty four hundred, because you got to put money in the account because they want you to make sure you pay the the mileage tax. It's three, it's two thousand dollars plus three seventy five a truck, right? That they want to hold on to of your money. So I do this for the dean. You know, he wants to go to Oregon, and then after he gets that bill for running the miles through Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> So you try to tell these new guys, right, Joe? <laughs> so you, it's you a do- hey, get into hey, the race. Hey, every what, what, what do we figure out, Jet? Every hundred miles, or every five hundred miles is a hundred bucks. I think is what it is. Twenty five cents 
a mile or something like that. It, 22 cents. So we call it 25 cents. But so I said, well, shoot, I'm just going to uh, pass that on to the broker when I book a load. <laughs> yeah, he gets the bill, 132 and some change. <laughs> Yeah, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that, I would have broke even my my first month, you know, with the with the EFTA. But good lord, I haven't been back there since. <laughs> hey Jeff, serious question: How's Michigan looking in the market? Because I'm looking at a few loads that might go up there. Uh, Michigan's not looking bad. Uh, the dean was up here. He was up here in Highland. I'm in Muskegon right now. He's in Muskegon right now. I'm looking at a few things going to Lansing. Tell them what. Tell them what do you get out of Muskegon? How much money? Uh, six hundred, six hundred bucks for one day. Go a few hundred miles. Yeah, a few hundred miles. It's not the best. I mean, I, I, we've had better, but it's slim pickings right now because everything's closed. Let's see, yeah. Lansing, Michigan. Uh. You can get up here, uh, Snow Lord. You can get up here at a decent rate. The, the challenge is, is getting out because everything's locked up still. But you can get a better rate coming in. So if as long as you make it coming in, Snow Lord, you know, here's where the dean messed up. Big face, listen to this. He can come out of Michigan and stuff like that and go to Pennsylvania for two forty-two a mile. But that's that's east of the I thirty-five, man. He can't do that. And you know, you got some interstate stuff. You got 207 back to Illinois, $2, you know, two plus up to Pennsylvania again. Um, a couple dollars go to Ohio. Same thing to go down to Indiana. Dollar uh, 25 I'm, back to Colorado. That would have been all in his favor right there. Uh, I'm, hoping can't, to, can't come out. I'm hoping to take advantage. I see some rates coming up. I'm hoping to take advantage of this holiday weekend and a lot of people that are parked are just going to stay parked if the rates don't, aren't coming up. So I'm hoping I could take advantage of that a little bit. So yeah. there's a lot of freight for some reason out of Missouri going up to uh, Michigan, up the well, land and all that. Big face, you know what it is? The Dean, you know what Star Lord's doing? I already know what he's doing. You know what he's doing? What's he doing? He's going to come to Lansing. It's going to say, oh, I couldn't find a load for the weekend. So he's going to come over here. He's going to go swimming, sit in the hot tub, and he's going to have barbecue ribs and all kinds of stuff every single day. <laughs> well, if I would have known that, that that was on the menu, Jeff, I would have I would have just hung out for the holiday weekend. <laughs> he, only, he only tells you that after you leave. Look who we got in the house now. Right. Get him, Italian Stallion. Yes, I, I, I got a bone to pick with you, Mr. Like. You're lucky uh -oh. I didn't charge you. You're lucky I didn't charge you storage fee for the tool that I hauled all over the country. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Let me. Man, I remember something. That about should food. be a, 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 a accessorial something fee. Something about came <laughs> in my head. I can't remember. Listen, you hey, know, you had good food though when you were here, didn't you? Have good I'm food? the only one that's got the cojones to go in those spots. Come on, didn't you have good food when you were here? Look at the <laughs> dean, he's out there in the wide open spaces. Hey, hey Rich, I'll get I into the that. Cambridge. I saw that What's dash that? cam footage. I saw that dash cam footage of you being in that, that village area. I was the first load I ever took to Chicago, I was trapped on a road like that, and I was freaking the hell out. And, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I didn't, I, I didn't envy you at that point, and I'm glad he made it out with, you know, without the tail swing, taking out a car or taking out a power line or something like that. All right, Just guys, I got it. That's I all. Gotta, I got a bail, guys. I'm loaded. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Snow Lord. Uh, Italian style. All right. Big face. Congrats, big face. All right. All right. Take it easy. Hey, Steve. Don't be. A hey, stranger. I just. Well, I just want to congratulate uh, Big Face, man. I could just see a, a pep in his step, you know? I could just feel it. So congratulations, yeah, yeah. brother. I yeah, see yeah. you wear your Giants hat. You wear your Yankees hat. So you got to be an original New Yorker, no? That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm uh, from Queens, but uh, I used to Big live Big Face, where are you from originally? Queens. Queens. 
Queens, a Queens boy. All right. Oh my God, we got right. love here. We got brotherly love going on here. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, that's bit. good, man. Congratulations on your uh, your next step. And uh, like the stallion would say, nothing hits harder than life, and you got to hit back. And uh, well, obviously, you're doing that, bro. So good for you. Well, Terry, you bought a truck. I mean, you bought one, even though people told you not to. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to uh, do what's right for you, make those decisions based on, on good numbers. And I, you know, obviously, I thank Jeff for all the uh the knowledge he's passed down and uh well that's why i'm here so it's good to see uh good people doing good things yeah what's that jeff can you believe snorlord's not sharing breakfast with us well you know when you're when you're low carb you 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 gotta enjoy every bit of protein so he he's doing great with his uh keto and looks great and uh you know Go get your own eggs, Jeff. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right, Snorlo? <Yeah. laughs> Look at these guys laughing at me. Go get your own eggs. Oh, Jeff. What am I supposed to do? Just, you know, pop them out? <clears throat> well, you, you, know, you, you got the missus. You, you, got a, you got the missus upstairs, you know. You got, her, you got a shackle to the kitchen. I was there. I, she was cooking like a fiend when I was there. Jeff. I tell you what, give me my settlement for the load I haven't delivered yet. I have bought, I won't buy fuel, and then I'll I'll mail you some eggs the minute you do that. You know I'll go. do it. I'll do it just to make you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do it right now. Hold on, I'll send you an email. Let me let me get it paid right now. Oh boy, <laughs> you knew he was gonna do it. <laughs> Oh, you know, I got your money. I can pay that money right now. Here, let me go there right now. We got we gonna make him pay up, Italian stallion. He better get them eggs. Uh -oh. I'll got, tell you what. That, I'll even do one you better. Be, you better hard. You better hard. You better hard, hard, you better hard boil them. <laughs> you better hard boil those eggs, Snorlord. You better send me the whole chicken. <laughs> 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 don't pluck it, Snorlord. Don't pluck it like a guitar. I don't Hold want on. Hold on. Hold on. Steve's going to the wet market. He's going to send you a Corona chicken. <laughs> He's going to send me a Wuhan chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snorlord, for the Wuhan. <laughs> Oh, man, man. Uh, couldn't happen from a better guy. Sends me the Wuhan. Yeah, that's in my business plan to take out the guy that pays me out. So you know. Yeah, Corona eggs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, every time I, you know, Italian Stallion likes to haul these chop tank loads, you know, where they want, they want the original paperwork for some stupid reason because it's all, it's all, you know, print it up anyway, you know, but they want the originals for some reason. So he sends it to me from New York, supposed to be the hot spot of the coronavirus here. So what do I, do I got to disinfect those envelopes? What do I got to do with those things? <laughs> well, the CDC just put out an article yesterday that now they're saying that eh, it's probably not that contagious on surfaces now. So it's, it's every day it's something different that contradicts what they said last week, right? Maybe I, it's I, just, maybe it's just a ploy of some other agenda. Uh, I heard that. Uh, I, heard Jeff, that I knew you already had that. the antibodies because come on, you already had you already had Corona before it was even Corona. You were like the you were like the original. You know, you were like the old the OG the original. Yeah, the original he, he gangster with, with Corona. Thing. Think about it. Think about it, man. You I were, was sick for were, three almost four weeks, and they. They did every test possible back then. They didn't know and what they it didn't, was. They, they didn't, didn't have it. Back. They didn't have the test for it. Uh, so you, should be selling, you should be selling your antibodies on uh, YouTube. <laughs> How much you give me for some there, Stallion? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I was in your presence, so I probably already got it too. So, you know. Yeah, but you, know, you work out at, at Planet Fitness with little Viking coach with the buffet line coming through the conveyor belt. 
from the Golden Corral. Comes right there faster you pedal, the faster the food moves down the conveyor line. That's what little Viking coat says. What about that, Rich? I mean, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go somewhere? PF is open. They're open. The, where are they open? I, you kind of broke up. I said some states are not open around here on the East Coast. Well, you better get off the East Coast. The East Coast, I, they might, I might have to. I might have to come down and see Big Face. I think in uh, in Georgia they're opening up. Is it sure. yeah. fitness open, Big Face? It's wide open down here. See. See Wide open. Nobody, nobody wearing masks or nothing like that. He he's stuck up there in Como lockdown, right? He wants to stay up there in the Como and be locked down. <laughs> can't do nothing. Uh, but the traffic not bad. Uh, I'm getting. He's trying to figure out you his guys are all choppy. The Italian stallion is kind of off when it comes to technology. <laughs> See, he just cut himself out of there. Look, he hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> technical difficulties. We're going to call Rich Rabba technical difficulties. Now. Well, Rich, click on the link again. Come back in because we want to ask you uh, your assessment of the Samsara ELD. Snorlord, Snorlord come here to, to Michigan just to get that. And to get up to Teletrack. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch them out. If I come up to Michigan, maybe I'll let you know and we'll switch them out. Yeah, I'll take them out of that. I'll take them out of the truck, my personal truck that I drive like thousands of miles on it a week. I'll take it out of that truck. Oh, yeah. And then when you're like, oh, I wish I could go and work in the truck, but I can't because I don't have an ELD. Yeah, just use that as an excuse, Jeff. I see how you are. Hey, I'm taking that to Big Face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like like some other people, I'll just do YouTube videos in the truck in my my driveway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> right. See? Big face in the driveway right now. That's right. Yeah, he, he got out of his bed when I said get online. He got out of his bed, walked out to his truck. <laughs> now I came out I came out to measure my mattress and uh, I'm thinking about putting a refrigerator in here getting it niced up before I leave out you know see, it's my truck see he did it right he didn't put all that stuff into it because he didn't know if he was going to give it back to SFI so why put uh, the money into it and let them re reap the reward right right and, and charge me Right. Well, no, that that strategy that you mentioned about um, keeping your maintenance money alone, leaving that alone, and just being able to pay for the repairs and maintenance, you right. know, with cash. I know several other people have used that method, and it's working wonders. And so, when it comes time for that balloon payment, boom, it's gone. You know, and, and that, that's smart. You know, and, and that that's proof that where there's a will, there's a way. Like. I know right. that I couldn't do a SFI payment out here in the spot market, but because of the way I run, so I would it would definitely have to, I would definitely have to change my mindset to do something like that. Um, and, th and that's what I always compliment the SFI guys on. If you learn how to survive with that big huge payment, then the rest is it's, easy. Right. Uh, right now, it's, it's a piece of cake for me. Right now, boys, look at this. We have Willie. Willie from Thunder Funding. He says, nice work, boys. Uh, quit laughing. You might get the corona. <laughs> see, now, if Willie, see, Willie should come in here. But, you know, those California guys, they, they're kind of shy of the camera. See, so he should he should click on that link, you know. Yeah, let's talk about some Thunder Funding. What do you say about that, Big Face? Shoot, Thunder Funding is the greatest, you know. Uh, they call, call me up and check on me. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they call you up, right? Make sure you're yeah, doing all right. They call me up and check on me, you know. Hey, I hope everything is all right, you know, and everything. And I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I let them know, you know, I'm going to be home for a while. So, <clears throat> you know, if you don't see no money coming through, it's me sitting at home, you know. And uh, they're, they're fine with it, man. I, I don't have no problems, man. No problems. 
I sometimes just call him up just to hear the lady's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Snorlord calls him up. <laughs> yeah. I do? Yeah. You need to check broker. <laughs> I've never had to call Thunder Funding for anything. Well, that's because you always pick the good stuff. There you go. Yeah. You know, he, he keeps track. Oh, wait. He, he coughed. Did you see what Big Face did? He coughed. And he grabbed some disinfectant in his hand. He's not showing it. He's going to spray his truck. Because <laughs> Willie says he's laughing too much and got the corona. Look. Bam. Yeah. GNC Family Trucking wants to know who's worse, Whitmer or Como for governors right now with the lockdown. What do you guys think? What's going on in Michigan or what's going on in New York? What's worse? Michigan, I think. Yeah, well, New York is bad. It's bad up there, man. Look, RD Trucking has uh, Thunder Fun, and look what he says, big face. He says, I delivered yesterday morning, and Thunder had my money on my card by the afternoon. That's right. That's how they got me. Darn you Armstrong's know. wrong. It's not Como. The Michigan governor's worse. She's worse, man. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. No. Nothing? I mean, like, there's nothing open up there? Nothing. You can't you can't go get a haircut. You can't go to any regular store except the big box store. Uh yeah, you can't you can't do anything. We couldn't even take this is how bad it was. Last month, we we could do it now. We can do it now. She just released this. But for the last two months or so. If you had a boat with a motor on it, you couldn't take it out on the lake because you would have to stop and get fuel for it, which would give you an extra chance of getting corona off the pump. But you could take a rowboat out or a canoe out to the lake and do that, but you couldn't take your motorboat out there. Wow. I don't, I don't get it with the uh, the seeds. What's what's Why they won't yeah. want you to plant? Yeah, we couldn't even buy seeds to plant. And not only that, yeah. check this out. That's where that gets scary, right there. Well, here's another thing, Snow Lord. You're looking at property and stuff. If we had a second house or a cabin up north, we were not allowed to go to our other property and you know sit there for a month or whatever and enjoy the cabin or whatever up north because – you you can only go to your main residence. You're quarantined to your main residence. You can't go up north. How, how do they not know? Like they, you know, we've checked on our second house a couple of times, and that thought crossed our head. But we're like, we own the house, and we're gonna go check on it, make sure that the roof's not caved in or it's flooded or something like. How do you know that you're not? How do they know that you you're not doing something like that? You know what I mean? Right. But but it's, if they catch you with their driver's license up there, they were giving you tickets. Wow. Yeah. And I right. almost had Chucky convinced to leave Michigan and he blew it. Who, this guy? Yeah. Wow. Do you oh, see well. I don't, I don't oh, know a lot more people in Missouri, anyways. You know, you're a competition for me, so you just stay there, Michigan Chucky. Wow, man. See, RR says Whitmer's the worst. She's pretty bad. <laughs> what? Well, you know what to do. You got to vote her out of there. <laughs> now, if you go up to Midland, Dow Chemicals underwater. We had all those. We had two dams break. They're worried about a third. Um, you know, they're they're under eight nine feet of water. God, up there. And that's only like forty five miles up the road. That's right. I think not being able to buy seed is scarier. They're telling you you can't grow food to eat. That's exactly right. Exactly. Uh, we cannot buy the food. We cannot go out and buy seed. Uh, we can't go out and buy seed. Uh, uh, oh, Snorler's got some stuff going on. No, that wasn't me. That was that was Mr. Big Face there. Big Face mm -hmm. listening to the. Uh, Hold on, I can't hear you. He's listening to the alerts. How come I can't hear you? I don't know. We can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me see. 
Here, let's give him full screen so we can see him messing around. <laughs> All right, I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. Lord, put him full screen. Hold on. Snorlord spot. He's he's sporting Oida. 45. Yep. I'll be in the newest issue of Landline Magazine, by the way, if anybody cares. You will? I'm yep. going to check it out. Jesus Christ. Big face. Look at that. Look at that. He's got look at look at that look at that uh, system there. It looks like he's he done scratched the face right off it so it doesn't work no more. Look at that. <laughs> He didn't like that Schneider system. I'm trying to figure this out, man. No, he can't figure oh, it out. It. It, it's okay. called a phone. Oh. oh, he just muted himself. He muted his own self. There you, you hear go. me now? All right. <laughs> now I don't I don't hear you. Snorlord, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, we're all good. Hear you very little. Hold on. Put your hearing aid in. It fell out. 10-4. Your hearing aid fell out. Check one, nine. two. Check. Hello. Check. Breaker one, nine. Radio check. All audio. It's all kinds of money. <laughs> you agree, big face? Yep, he just did. Snorlord, did you hear that? <laughs> Dump them and let them click back in. That'll probably fix the problem. You there? <laughs> Here, let's, let's look. He looks. He's looking pretty bad right now. How is my mic on mute? <laughs> Host has unmuted you. You hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Talk to him, Snorlord. Yeah, but I don't Howdy. hear you. Can you hear us? I hear you very little. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Look what Eugene Waller says. Come on, big face, set the, ba the, the bass tone. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Big face, how much for a good beard grooming? Stop cutting your barber shop. Hold on, I can't hear you, Jeff. <laughs> Here, sign language. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> uh, this is extremely entertaining. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna get out of here because we got. A ball got came in and just Can knocked me kicked? off. Hold on, hold on. I bet you. That he doesn't know how to use that phone. That's what happens when you no, when you, you can take your truck off and you get a new phone with all these gadgets? That ain't it. That's done. Snorlord. Yes, sir. You see what happens when Big Face pays off his truck and then he goes out there and buys a brand new phone with all these gadgets? Oh yeah. Uh Eugene Waller, Snorlord could do this. I can't. He's the singer, he's the professional. I can't hit any high notes. I ain't Rob Halford. Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> this ain't working. Kale Miner says, look at those mug shots. I'm going to come back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He hung up on us. He hung up, man. His technology. He's out there. Oh, but we got to get going anyway. We got things to do. Uh, so it's pretty good. You know, we got, you know, Willie, Willie didn't want to come in to be on the camera. So, you know, that was all right. But uh, one, two, three's got some more stuff coming out, Snow Lord, which is pretty cool. They cool. keep innovating. Uh, but it's good, you know. That's what I tell you. If you get that for that price, and then you get the lowest DAT, you got two good load boards there. And I don't like – you ever use truckstop.com? No, I've never used it. I know people that have tried it out. I know that 
<clears throat> Ratman Roden uses it because it's more friendlier to it's got more hot shot loads on there. But but most people I know that tries their board, it, it's it's a lot of the same stuff that's on the other two. So yeah, but I, what I don't like about it is it's full of advertisements. Like what do you mean? They got a lot of things there that they're trying to you, to click on and sell, or their affiliates or whatever. Oh, okay. You know, I'm back. But uh, yeah, but I've never used it. So, hey, look who's back! Yeah. Merry Christmas. Did you get it figured out? Did you get it figured out, Mister Big Face? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I figured it out. Leave and come back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, earlier I told Jeff just to dump you, and then you, then you click back in, it would have solved the problem. So I think that happened to me once in Pale Rider Speed. Yeah, I had a call come in, and then I answered the call, and then it just knocked me out. Yeah, it kind of screws up the audio stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I'm All right. My, I'm cleaning my truck. Yeah, because you, you cough Corona in it. <laughs> yeah. I've been in the house, man. Been in the house. Scared to go out. You know, nobody wears masks down here, man. Well, no, it's like it's like the free rain down there in Georgia. Yeah, they don't think nothing's going on. Okay, what load boards do you guys use? That's what our, our JMJMS wants to know. Well, I use I use DAT and one two three, and I use a lot of the click and goes. A lot of the, you know, a lot of these brokers have their own apps. A lot of times, I'll go to them first because um, you can look at the information. You know what, I, like Sage Robinson, you can't book a load from there. Well, sometimes you can, but you know, I can see all the information, like the times and stuff. And I think that if okay, here you more know. brokers would post times and more details, I think that it'd be a little bit more efficient for all of us. You know, how many times have you called on the load and you can't do it? You know, because of the time doesn't work. So look at this, Norlord. He's 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 got the finger going back and forth, back and forth. He he can't he can't figure it out again. <laughs> Poor big face. <laughs> he's got that technology going. All right, man. We're going to get out of here. Um, All right. All right. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for watching. Check out Snorlord's channel. He'll be going live sometime soon. Probably. Well, maybe in five minutes. You never know. <laughs> well, looks like I got to go. Bye, baby. I, <laughs> I just kicked him out. Look, look at him laugh. <laughs> All right, man. We'll see you all later. All right. Later.